Three years later and I'm finally back in Europe for the first time in three years. I forgot how much I missed it over here. I'm coming to you this morning from Athens, Greece. We're gonna show you around a little bit, all the great food, things that you can do. So let's get right into it. So stop number one is a place called Stani. And this place is well renowned for their Greek yogurt and dairy products. So as you can see, I'm starting it off with Greek yogurt made with sheep's milk, topped with a ton of honey and nuts, and then a top cream in the big glass top with a ton of honey. So let's dig right in. Starting off with the Greek yogurt made with the sheep's milk. Mm. And now trying this top cream. Okay, well, unfortunately, Greek yogurt will never be the same in the U.S. That is absolutely delicious. And that top cream, holy sweet. Both of these must-gets when you're here will not disappoint. That is absolutely fantastic. Okay, that place is just a quick little breakfast, but absolutely amazing. Highly, highly recommend coming to Stani. Very local feel, too. Not touristy whatsoever. Great place. I should also note that my number one favorite way to get to know any country or any city is by eating the food. So if all I do is just eat food today, I'll be perfectly content. So right now I'm walking through the National Garden. This is a beautiful area here, right in the middle of Athens. I'm heading towards the Panathenaic Stadium. So we'll see if I can get in there and check that out. It's a really, really historic spot here in Athens. Okay, behind me is the Panathenaic Stadium, home to the first ever Olympic Games held here in Greece. The stadium can seat 60,000 people. It doesn't really seem like it, but it is very big in person. So definitely something to check out for sure. Very, very historic stadium here in Athens. All right, right now I'm walking around the neighborhood of Koukaki. This is a very quiet local neighborhood here in Athens. I'm the only tourist walking around, so this is definitely the place I wanna be. I feel like I can understand the culture here so much better away from the tourists. There's a lot of small little cafes around with all the locals. Great place to sit in and enjoy some of the authentic Greek coffee and cheese pies. Just great to be walking around here. Okay, so I'm about to head in to the Acropolis and up to see the Parthenon. This is the most famous thing in Athens, so we'll check it out and we'll see how it goes. Right, that was the Parthenon on top of the Acropolis. Obviously, it's probably the most touristy thing here in Athens, but the views up there are super cool. You can see out to the ocean, all 360 views of Athens. So definitely recommend doing it, even though there's a lot of tourists up there, but you can still get a pretty cool experience. Okay, now I'm walking around the neighborhood of Plaka. This is probably the most popular neighborhood here in the center of Athens. But I tell you what, these streets are so cool. All these little tiny streets, pedestrian only, with restaurants on either side, people sitting outside eating, super cool. I was able to find a place in the middle of that where I was the only American, so very cool local experience. Exactly what I love about being here in Europe. I feel like this is one of those places, again, where you just have to come see it for yourself. It's so hard to portray these places in Europe via video then getting the same recurring theme as i was three years ago europe is an amazing place it never disappoints okay now to try traditional greek coffee they do it a little bit differently here in greece as you can see right here get the coffee and then to go along a little pistachio Cake. Let me try this. I've heard it's very interesting. Oh wow. Super, super strong and rich. That is a very strong coffee. Was expecting that, but wow. Good to say the least though. Okay, so that was traditional Greek coffee. Very strong and rich. 
but it will wake you up. So a great afternoon drink to stay alive while walking around. This vlog is kind of all over the place. I hate to whip out this camera in front of the locals at some of these more quiet places. So I've been keeping it put away for some of the places. Now I'm gonna head to dinner at a great local spot. Hopefully they have some amazing food to try out. Okay, so I'm eating at a place called Evli. This is one of the coolest settings for a restaurant I've ever been in. Basically, I'm in an alleyway, as you can see by the video. You have to go out of your way to find this place, it's away from all the tourists. It just makes for a great, authentic Greek restaurant here in Athens. Okay, so I went with the pork dish recommended by the waiter, as you can see right here. Drizzle some lemon on top, and we'll dig right into this. And then finally the waiter also recommended I get the fried cheese right here. Also have some tzatziki sauce with bread. This will never taste the same in the States ever again, so going in. Okay, so that pork is super, super tender, so flavorful, explodes in your mouth. Just like apparently every dish I eat. <laughs> and when you top it with the lemon, man, it tops it off. So great, great dish. And then this fried cheese. If you ever make nachos or burn cheese, this is exactly what that tastes like. So you know it's the best part. <laughs> tastes amazing. Overall, all three of these items are incredible. And with this setting, man, it doesn't get any better than this. All right, just getting out of that restaurant. I was a little quiet in there. Didn't want to make a huge scene with the camera, but that was one of the best restaurants I've ever eaten at in terms of the scene. Such a cool setting, almost back in that alleyway with the tables. It doesn't get any better than that. And all that food was only 20 euros, so pretty cheap for the most part. But that is one of the best restaurants I've eaten at in all of Europe, so. Definitely go there if you're ever in Athens. So let's head around the city at night and then that'll pretty much wrap up today here in Athens.